sponsored by Wormwood Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all feeling very valued. So you guys have asked me, well, lots of times now, how can I make my own carrier versus carrier mission so that you can kind of simulate the ones that I do. Now, I don't give uh, the actual mission files away anymore. It used to cause me a lot of trouble, but I will show you how to make your own. So we're going to go to mission editor here from the main menu. We're going to choose a map. So new mission at the top, Caucasus, Marianas, Persian Gulf, Syria or Channel. Let's do Marianas. Why not? There are two basic types. You can have a carrier fight without external mods or a carrier fight with external mods. External mods are things like F-35s, like Rafales, like ships that we don't have in the base game. With external mods is difficult, it's awkward, it's fidgety and it takes a lot of time. So we're not going to do that. Without mods, so just the normal base game, is super easy. So uh, I'm just going to show you the base game. So let's get started. We're going to have, uh, I don't know, some blue guys, some Americans that say add ship group. Let's add the ship group there. I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm not saying this is the best way of doing it. The key here is to just do as little work as possible to get the ships working and fighting. You could go in and make it a bit more detailed and give all the ships names and stuff like that. Uh, we are going to, it's already USA. We're going to make it a Theodore Roosevelt. We are going to make it skill average. We'll leave it there. We are going to add a speed, 30 knots. I always make my... Uh, Fleet smooth 30 knots now, and I'm going to add another waypoint, let's say, there. For me, my carrier fights, to mean that the videos aren't too long, I like to make them 35 miles away from Bullseye. Let's move Bullseye into the picture. There he is. So, 35 miles is there. Ping and ping. You may choose to do a different range depending how much time you've got. There is my CV and I don't want to do anything else to it. I don't want to add any coding. I don't want to do anything. I like to let the ships do what they want to do and I don't like to control them. Uh, again, you may choose differently. Next, I'm going to add is escort. So I'm going to click on it. Left control and C to copy. Then I'm going to measure here three, about three miles, something like that over there to have a couple of cruisers left control and V for paste and let's put a Ticonderoga there left control and C left control and V look how easy it is uh, and those are my cruisers left control and V three miles out and there is going to be my uh, uh, Arlie Burke left, uh, left control and C left control and V left control and V left control and V ping we've now got all moving together in formation a carrier two cruisers and four arlie burke destroyers note how i put them all in separate groups you can put them all in the same group if you want and then they'll interact with each other now the problem with that is if one ship begins to slow down because it's been hit or something the whole group slows down and i can guarantee you won't want that so just put them as separate units or separate groups that's the best way of doing it for sure at this point, let's go and make the uh, the baddies. So we're going to put group on there. It's going to be Russian. It's going to be uh, Kuznetsov. It's going to be 30 knots. And he's going to go there. Zap. Oops, wrong one. There. Add waypoint. 30 knots. Zap. There. Again, don't add any tags to him or just, you know, let him uh, decide what he wants to do. Uh, okay, same thing. So we're going to add um, uh, a um, God, what's it called? Battle cruiser uh, Kirov class up front. So let's measure three miles. Ping there. Uh, left control and C. Left control and V. And there's our battle cruiser. Let's make it Peter the Great. I'm clicking quite fast, but you can always play it back slower if you want. There's Peter the Great. Don't give him any more tasks. That done. Left control C. Left control V. There's a Moskva, a uh, Slava class cruiser. Uh, if we can find her, there she is. Left control C, left control V. And there's a Slava class. Uh, left control V. Uh, there's going to be a frigate, a um, uh, Corvette. No, this will be a frigate. Uh, there we go, Reski, whatever that is. 
left control C, left control V, left control V. And there's that. Four, five, uh, seven separate groups all about to do their thing. Next, let's get some aeroplanes, shall we? So blues, aeroplane group. Click it somewhere near the carrier. Um, make it a uh, make sure it's USA. Make it a suitable aircraft that can operate from a carrier. Uh, Bogachev, there it is. Skill, let it load. Uh, uh, Ace, thing. Come on. Uh, type, take off from parking hot. That starts it off from the carrier. Um, that's it there. Next, let's go and give it some um, uh, uh, weapons. So uh, the task is going to be cap. These guys are going to fight air to air, and then we'll do some uh, we'll do some harpoons as well. Um, so I'm just going to do a pre-selected one there, and then edit it. I want these to be uh, a couple of amrams. I won't spend too much time on this because you can look through this yourself. But there you go. I want that. I want that. There. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to take the fuel down a bit. Uh, that's him. Okay, I'm now going to multiply him by uh, four. So one, two, three, four. So that is now four aircraft F-18s cap, all armed up for cap. Ace level on the aircraft carrier. Okay, let's give him an order. I want him to add waypoint. Go uh, there. I want him to go there at twenty-four thousand feet. And I want him to go there at 500 knots. Okay. Um, once he's there, with waypoint one selected, I'm going to go add special waypoint options. I'm going to go perform task. I'm going to go orbit. I want you to orbit at 500 knots at 24,000 feet. Done. So he is now programmed to take off as soon as he can, fly at 500 knots, 24,000 feet to there, then orbit. And because he's got the task cap, he will just shoot anything down he sees and then orbit until he runs out of fuel, and then he will automatically RTB. As things stand, we can't get them to RTB to a carrier and to rearm and refuel. Just not possible at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, let's make two more copies of that. So I've got 12 air-to-air -air hornet, hornet. So get the group leader there. Left control C, click out here somewhere, left control V. Click out here somewhere, left control V. What we've just done there is created two copies. We've now got 12 aircraft on there. Uh, aerial 3 group, Aerial 1 group, and Aerial 2 group. We'll then move their waypoint 1s around. It will also copy the actions like orbit and stuff like that because we've made identical carbon copies. We've now got three groups, 12 total, spread there, there, and there, all doing otherwise the same thing. Lovely. Next, uh, let's go and put some <clears throat> anti-ship hornets on there, shall we? Uh, easiest way to do this is probably grab one of these. No, probably start again actually. So aircraft group, ping, put it there. It's already selected uh, F-18 to me. Let's go down here. Ace is going to be anti-ship. Now when you make it anti-ship like this, it means he will do anti-shipping. He will go and shoot ships, but he won't do air-to-air -air fighting. Um, so hence you see when these guys go in, they fire their harpoons and stuff. They then don't dogfight. They just hang around until they get shot. There probably are clever ways of coding them so that once they've done their anti-shipping, you can make them fight. I, that's above my level of understanding at that point. I'm just not into it that much, if you know what I mean. I just want to make them do a basic one job, and that's all I care about. But, you know, if you're more advanced, then that's fine. Right, his ace, his anti-ship uh, that started on the ship. Ping. Uh, it's called Aerial 4. Take note of that. Let's give him an, a loadout. Annoyingly, it hasn't suggested a loadout, so we'll have to go and add one by hand. Harpoon. 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 That's near enough. Add, add some uh, self-defense weapons if you want, but I'm just doing that for quickness. Populate the flight to four. Lovely. Uh, next, we're going to add a waypoint. So add waypoint. And this is where it can be, get a bit tricky. There are two ways of making him attack these ships. One is to put him in the rough area, roughly in range, and then if he sees those ships, he will fire on them himself. Uh, and he'll decide which ship to shoot at. Or you can tell him to attack an individual ship. I don't like telling them to attack an individual ship because, again, I don't like having that control over them. I like to say, OK, go over here and shoot what you want. I like to make the AI work and think. I think that's a much more fun way of doing it. Uh, it surprises me as well. So... 
what I'm going to do is send him on a bit of a mission. He's going to go there. He's going to go super low. 200 feet. 500 knots. Then he's going to go there. And he's going to go there. Now, he's going to, oh, this last waypoint, he's going to climb up to, uh, to 10,000 feet. And at that point, he should hopefully see with these guys, with his radar, see them and, uh, and take his own shots when he wants. Okay, I'm not even going to give him an RTB. Uh, I could give him an RTB. In fact, I'll show you different ways of doing it. This is one way of doing it uh, that should work. What I'll do now is show you the other way of doing it. So I'm going to go and find him again. His aerial four, wasn't he? Aerial four, left control C, click here, left control V. Aerial five is now the other group. So let's move aerial five's waypoints away. Ah, uh, swear word. Uh, 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 uh. Aerial five, aerial five. In fact, let's just delete his waypoints. Delete, delete, delete. Right, this guy's going to do it differently. Aerial five is going to take off, so I'm going to add a waypoint there. And then um, I'm going to 6,000 feet, uh, 500 knots. Then I'm going to get this guy to fire on a certain target. Uh, so let's find who we want to fire on. Let's fire on the carrier, shall we? It is Naval 8. You can see at the top there, that's his tag or his group ID. So at waypoint 1 here, we're going to go pop, 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 add. We're going to go um, perform task. We're going to go attack group or unit within a group. I'm just going to go attack group because it's a one unit group. Well, who do I want to attack? Naval 8. What do I want to attack with? I want to attack with anti-ship missiles. How many do you want to fire? All of them. And um, there's some extra stuff there, but that's getting too nerdy for me. So this works differently. This will get to that waypoint there, then it will do the attack group. So at this point, if he's not in range to fire, he will fly himself towards the enemy group until he's in range to fire, then it will fire, then he will come to the end of his waypoint chain. In this case, at the end of his waypoint chain, I'm going to add a new waypoint, which is add uh, there, add waypoint 2. And this tape, this is going to be a landing waypoint. So I'm forcing him to land. I don't have to do that. He will go and do that on his own. Uh, like this guy here, aerial 4. I didn't tell him to RTB, but he knows he should go and RTB because he's got no more orders and he's not been ordered to air to air. Okay, and this was the other way of doing it. Once they've gone and landed again, you can't get them back up. As far as I'm aware, that's it. They're going to they're gonna stay there because they're, have, they're going to have no fuel and ammo. In terms of circuits and how they get LSO'd onto the, you know, onto the ship, it's all done automatically by Wagner code, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, right, that's some Hornets in. So 12 of them are doing air-to-air -air fighting spread over that sector there. One's going around the side here with an indirect fire order to kill these guys. One's going out here with the direct fire order to kill the carrier and then to RTB. Uh... So we should go and put some Russians in, I suppose. So we're going to go aircraft group, put it near that carrier, make it Russian, make it a the only thing they can have, which is SU-33. Make it uh, ace, and it's just going to be the same stuff as we were doing last time. Make it take off from the boat. Give it a loadout. Uh, I want that preload out there. It'll be fine. Okay. Your job is to take off. Go to this waypoint here, mirroring that one there. Um, you're going to go to 24,000 feet as well at 500 knots just to mirror it perfectly. And that's all I want you to do. Uh, he's cap. I put him as cap there, so he will fight to the death. Then RTB. Uh, now I'm going to populate his group. So get him. One, two, three, four. He's a four uh, aircraft group. And now let's copy him. Left control and C. Click away. Left control and V. Left control, uh, yep, click away, left control and V. Copied him twice. Let's move him over there. Let's move this one over there. There are now three groups, 12 aircraft split into flights of four, going there, there, and there. I've missed a thing. I forgot to tell them to uh, orbit. Uh, so I'm going to go back here with the associated waypoint, advanced actions, add. This is something you should do. Perform command, orbit. And same here if you can do it. Add. Orbit, add, orbit. Cool, that's the cap. 
anti-ship let's see if we can get any working so I'm not sure I can but I'm going to try uh, so a new group obviously it's being weird come on uh. come on little computer don't crash come on things happen like that when you click on biggin Russia SU-33 anti-ship yes you can look at that nice uh, we're going to even whatever these are I thought we had a ah, how about that how about that you can have anti-ship with those huh, cool right uh, click that anti-ship loadout make him ace cross off there uh, okay let's tell him to uh, take off he's going to go oops I haven't told him to start from the carrier so it's type start from carrier add first waypoint He's going to go round this way there at 200 feet, 500 knots. Again and again. And he's going to attack the, this vessel here, shall we say. So what is that vessel? It is group ID naval 2 back there. Uh, add advanced waypoint, perform task, attack group, naval 2 with... Oh, booger. Uh, I'm just going to go auto because I'm not sure what weapons he has. Uh, auto should. In fact, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Let's see what happens. Some Usually, if you know what weapon he's got, you should tell him which weapon to use. I'm not sure if auto will use with multiple weapons, but let's see what happens for the, for the fun of it. Uh, that's that done. Next, AWACS. So, new aircraft group. Click there. USA. Task. AWACS, type E2D, that will do me. Whoops. Uh, ace, start him up, I don't know, 20,000 feet at 400 knots ground. Add waypoint there. At waypoint, with the waypoint selected, uh, whatever this is, uh, add um, waypoint option, perform task, orbit. So he's going to go from there to there and then orbit until the end of the game. And that's all he's tasked to do. And he's AWACS. Uh, let's make a Russian AWAX. How's the easiest way to do? Click left control C, left control V. That's a Russian one. Uh, let's make it Rusky. It's automatically changed it to an A50. It's automatically changed the speed to relevant speed. Done. Made it nice and easy for me. Uh, there is our units. We've got 20 flankers. We've got 24 uh, Hornets. Ships are all moving towards each other. Uh, next, we're going to set up the mission options. So tick. Uh, turn everything on. This is just a good standard practice way of doing it, especially if you're going to use multiplayer. In fact, we've got to put some human slots in. I mustn't forget about that. So, do you want to see all of the aircraft? All. In fact, I'm just going to leave those options there. That is my standard basic options. That's what I put on. I suggest you follow the same thing, but it's up to you. You can go through each option if you want. Okay, done. And uh, it's going to save that as. Example uh, carrier battle dot miz go. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, what are we missing? Uh, I'll put some helicopters in. Why not? Some blue helicopters. Add helicopter group. I'm not going to add them on the deck. I'm going to try add them to, adding them to the cruiser helicopter there. Let's make him a UH. Wah, what? No, not a UH. What are they called? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, SH-60 Bravo. Let's start him taking off from there. How about that? Uh, from parking hot. Then let's add a waypoint in. I don't know what I wanted to do. I just wanted to charge in there and orbit. Charge in there. Go low. Say 100 feet. Go at 70 knots. Save some fuel. Once you get there, um, just perform task and orbit at 64 knots at 100 feet. Uh, and that's that. Uh, transport 1, I actually changed that to anti-ship strike instead. He's now an anti-ship striker. Why don't we go and give him a penguin there. He's now anti-ship and he's got a penguin and he's orbiting there, which means if a ship comes in with his, within his penguin range, he will fire on them automatically. And uh, once he's fired, he will RTB then. Uh, that's my helicopter done. Uh, why don't we add a few more? Um, 
click on helicopter, left control C, left control V. One's taking off from each of those. In fact, I should start adding these generally, shouldn't I? Let's see if this guy can carry one. Yes, he can. And let's see if this guy can carry one. Yes, yes. Six attack helicopters. How about that? Uh, won't bother with the Russians. Um, that's it, I think. Let's save it. Ping. And let's go and set the weather. And I want um, a scattered cloud. Okay. And I don't want any wind. And time of day, 18 in the morning is fine. Save again. Green button to go. Ping. And off we go. And that, in theory... Should be him a lot. Let's see if the planes start taking off and firing at each other. Let's have a look at these helicopters and see what they're doing. Yep, they're all working. Got a lovely big uh, penguin. Not sure why these guys aren't taking off. Let's have a look. They are. They're going off to battle. Uh, oh, look, already these, uh, you know, this is why I don't like telling the ships what to do, because then they'll make their own decisions when to fire all these missiles. They fired all these missiles. It's what they've decided to do. Their little AI brains decided to do. Make sure these guys are taking off okay. I guess they don't appear to be. Okay, look how they don't take off. Appears to be a brand new bug ED have put in just to annoy me. Uh, so that's a little annoying. Incredibly frustrating. Now, bearing in mind, this is the base game. I haven't added any mods in yet. It should be 100% reliable, but it's not. So, I uh, don't know why that is, but we need to go and figure it out. So, uh, this is just part of the debugging process, unfortunately. Uh, so, what went wrong? Because now it's off. Let's try changing it to the uh, 2017 one. See if that improves the. Let's save that. Let's go and try that. Change things until it works, basically. Yeah! For some reason, the type of carrier I use, it wasn't working, so I used this one and it started working. It's just, you know, just the kind of things you have to do in these. Uh, uh, these naval battles. Otherwise, it all looks good. It looks like it's working pretty well. Pretty happy with that. That is how you make a basic non-modded carrier group attack and you can just play with things and play with ranges and stuff like that. Do your heart's desire. I hope that was useful and see you later.